God a great big shout of praise once again. Give God a great big shout of praise. If you turn your Bible to the book of Joshua, we're now in part two of the series to kick off 2019. Go for it. Somebody shout, go for it. Go for it. We're now in part two of this series, go for it. And I want to make a declaration while you're looking for Joshua chapter 6. The walls are getting ready to come down. And you're getting ready to be positioned to possess everything that God has stored up for you in 2019. Everything that has been held back from you, everything you've been denied, everything you've been rejected, every negative voice spoken over you, every critic, every time you felt like giving up, every time it looked like your back was against the wall and there was no way out, I'm declaring this year in 2019, the wall getting ready to come down. I'm declaring right now the gates are getting ready to swing open. I'm declaring everything you've been trusting God for, everything you've been believing in. I am declaring this is the year, this is the time, this is the destination and the place where it's getting ready to happen. I dare somebody say, get ready to go for it. I don't know about you, but I believe in stuff. I, I'm not just trying to hype you up or psych you up. I believe what God is saying. In the book of Joshua chapter 6, why you standing? Thank God my good friend Duke came by and washed the greenhouse today. Amen. Bless you, Duke and your family. In the book of Joshua, chapter 6, and for those who are in the generation of technology, feel free to go live. Feel free to share this message on all of your social media outlets because I believe the word of God, the word of God declared on this generation will change this generation. So if you can handle going live and focusing on the word of God, you become the media team and share the gospel all across the globe. Joshua chapter 6. We'll be reading verse 1 through 5. We're teaching throughout the whole chapter of Joshua chapter 6. And don't be alone. We won't be here very long. Both the Cowboys and the Texans are off season. So thank you very much for That's right. Joshua chapter 6. <laughs> now the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its king and its fighting men. March around the city once with all the armed men. Do this for six days. Verse 4, Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. Yeah. Verse number five, when you hear the sound of a loud blast on the trumpets, have the whole army go give a loud shout in the wall of the city will collapse and the army will go up everyone straight in. Take your seats and shout with me. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Whatever, whatever that is, it's good for all of us. But you gotta make your mind up this season. Go for it. The new business, go for it. The relationship, go for it. The degree, go for it. Peace of mind, go for it. Whatever it is, you've been trusting God for, believing God for. Now is the time to go for it. is a place of destiny yeah. that you your family your friends have all been waiting for an opportunity to get in Jericho see I'm kind of a hood dude highly educated but a hood dude and cool and that's all I ever asked God for was an opportunity. Yeah. You just give me a, a fight chance and I'll fight. Yes. So Jericho is a city where all of God's promises are stored up in. But the people of God had been denied access to Jericho. But now finally they're in a position where something's 
ready to shift and opportunity shows up. Yeah. I heard a definition of poor is passing over opportunities regularly. Many people are poor because they pass over opportunities on a regular basis. That's all I need for God to give me is an opportunity. And now there's an opportunity to get behind Jericho and get what God has for you. Uh, you, you don't know where to shout. This is the season of opportunity in which God will position those who are willing to walk by faith. Yes. Amen. Jericho is a place of destiny. It represents the manifestation of God's promises over your life. Yes. Jericho, brothers and sisters, that answer to all your prayers. Yes. When you sum it all up, you end up in Jericho. And Jericho is something different for all of us. But it's the same place for all of us at the same time. Because Jericho is what God has for you. Yeah. Ah, you missed that, you missed that. Jericho is what God has for you. And what God has for you may not be what God has for me, but it's the same God. And Jericho represents what God has for me. So I only ask God for an opportunity to keep what's in Jericho. Holding on to faith, you know best. And nothing can catch you by surprise.